Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video we're going to be making some pillow boxes. So these are good for Christmas presents or for other kinds of presents. So if you want to see how I made them, then just keep watching. Okay, so today we're going to make some pillow boxes and decorate them for Christmas. I wanted to show you two ways to make, or that I'm going to make pillow boxes this year. One is using the die that I got with my Sizzix machine. I haven't actually used this before, but I figure it's not going to be too complicated. And then the other one we're going to use by tracing one out of a paper lovers book because I know I have hundreds of these, well, probably not hundreds, but I have a lot, um, and they've got a bunch of the pillow boxes in them. So I'm going to do the one using the die cut first because obviously you kind of have to have the die to be able to use it. But if you don't have the die and you don't have a die cutting machine, then just using the just tracing the other one will work fine. So I'm going to make them both the same, I think. And that way I can kind of compare and contrast and tell you which way I think was easier. So I've just grabbed a bit of red cardstock. This is Kayser Craft, but any kind of red cardstock will work. And then for this particular die, I know I need to cut two of them. So I'm just cutting just enough to cut both. So we'll just go ahead and run this through the machine twice. I'm just going to hold it down with some washi tape and I'll be right back. So using this die to make the pillow box, I need two, two of these cut out, at least I think so. Like I said, I haven't used this yet, so I'm kind of hoping that it's the way I think it is. And then the die creates all of these score lines, which is then where I'm going to fold along. I'm just going to grab my score tool out. So I'm just going to fold along the lines, just reinforce them with the score tool. So then they stick together like this and then you sort of create the little pillow that comes out. So I'm going to stick it together now so that I can kind of work on that shape. So I'm just using my glue tape. You can use double sided tape. In fact, I actually think double sided tape would have been better, but I've done it now. And I've got glue everywhere. I'll clean it off later. I'm just lining those two up. So just along the score lines, making that into the little box. It'll stick together like that. I'll do it for the other bit. I'll get the double sided tape out. So I have a really skinny, that's not even the skinniest, I've got a really skinny tape here so I'm going to use this one. So there's the basis of our little pillow box and then you should be able to, this will be easier now, there we go. I knew it would be once we sort of got that open. So then you can just fold over the edges to kind of make your little pillow box. Now I haven't, I don't think I've put quite enough glue on the edge here. A little trick is to grab one of your little um, bulldog clips. And if you're anything like me, you've got like eight of them just sitting around the place and just bulldog clip them together for a little bit, especially if you use liquid glue. But just bulldog clip them together for a little bit just to hold them. So while I'm tracing the other one and making it, I might just leave those to sort of hold together. We'll come back and do all the decorating at the end. So the other one is going to be using a paper lovers book to trace. Now obviously if you can get, if you've got a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can, there's plenty of um, templates and stuff on their studios that you can use. Um, but if you just got paper lovers books and you don't maybe know exactly how to do this, I think there's probably print um, templates that you can get off the internet as well that would work just as easily. So all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to help myself out as much as I can by using the edges of my cardstock. And that way I don't have to worry too much about it not being straight. I'm just going to cut 
cut this out. I'm going to use the trimmer to get this line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim all around the outsides here so that I get the shape I want. So then I'm just going to grab my scoreboard up and wherever I can I'm going to try and use this because it's just going to help keep all my lines straight. So I know that's a line because I know that's where the pillow box lines are fold over. And then I just need to work out where this other score line is. So the best way to do that is to just kind of line them up so it's where they're lined up right, pull it down just a little bit but keep the edges straight. I'm just going to mark with my pencil and then do the same thing on the other end. Go. And then just line that up with a with one of the score lines here. Now I'm a little I'm a little unsure of how to do the circle kind of score lines. So I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to fold this up first and get the shape I want. do some kind of score line so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do very similar to what I just did so I get my spaces right oh, there we go my tape just so happens to be about the right kind of shape I want so I'm just going to use that to trace a very light line and then come around again with my score tool now this one's going to be harder it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because you're just giving it a guide to fold across. Once it's actually folded, I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for all of them. I'm going to rub out that pencil line now before I forget. I'm actually going to skip doing the pencil line for the next couple. Just hold this in the right spot. Just use the score tool. I'm actually going to change the score tool though. So this one's more of a for flat. So I'm just going to grab this one up, which is more of a stylus style and use that one instead. My little score lines in there they're not particularly strong or anything but I think they'll still work just grabbing a piece of paper now just to protect my mat while I do this because I think the glue tape will work better just because you can put it all the way to the edges so I know I said before that the, the double-sided tape would be better I've changed my mind so I'm just going to line that up so it fits nicely and I'm hoping when I push this it folds reasonably nicely, which it is. And there we go. Two little pillow boxes. I definitely like the bigger one better. I think that's, you could, you could it's more useful because you can probably fit more in it. But I do like the little one. I think it's really cute. Now just a little kind of idea here. You would have seen on this one, it's got these little notchy bits on one side, actually I think they're on all of them. I'm going to add those because I think they're actually really useful, especially for that inside one. And I'm just using a hole, well not a hole punch, but a circle punch. I'm just sort of lining it up. I'm just doing a half. And I'll just do a similarly lined up one on the other side. Could do them both at once. Actually I'll do that on the other side. That way they're just a little bit easier to get your fingers into. You see now that when I put my finger in here, I've got something to grab hold of. I'll do the same thing on the little one. This um, punch is probably just a little bit big for that, but it, it'll be fine. Could use just a normal hole punch if you haven't got a circle punch. pull this apart just stick it back down with glue tape because it's just not holding the way I want it to so there we go 
two simple to make pillow boxes. Now the fun part's actually decorating them. Something I thought of, which I thought of doing for you, but then realized, well, I kind of only did that last week, so I'm not going to, is you could stamp um, little Christmas images all over these, send them through the mink, like with mink ink, send them through the mink, and then they'd all be foil. That would look really cute. The way I'm gonna do these is I'm gonna give them little belly bands. So I've got this glitter cardstock from Kay's Craft. So I'm gonna cut these into little strips or into a strip. So I'm gonna cut this to two centimeters wide. So I'm just using my trimmer to guide that. So it's not probably 100% two centimeters, but it's close. Just making sure I go through that really hard because this is very, very, very thick cardstock. So a little belly band that will run around the outside. do a couple of score lines so this is me and not measuring stuff because I don't like to measure measuring just takes too long just scoring sort of where I think will be a certain point so that I've got some on the back and then just folding that over and that way that'll sit in my little notch here and I can mark where the other one needs to be I think I'll try regular glue tape first. Not sure if it'll work. I think it might be a little bit too, not quite strong enough, but we'll give it a shot. Ryan's just pointed out that won't work because it'll be closed and you won't be able to slide it back over the top. So, just getting that sort of roughly in the right spot and then I'm going to pull it off and hold it together with the clips just for a little while because I'll be able to slide that back over. I love these clips. But then we're going to do something on the outside just to make it, you know, a little bit fun. So I have these cute little images that I have die cut from some Lawn Fawn stamp sets. I just want to do like a little circle using one of my infinity dies and I'll stick that on the outside and then just put the reindeer on there. So just getting these out, just working out which size circle I need to fit him in the middle. So I'm going to cut that circle out of this green cardstock. This is also from Kaiser Craft. If you have any scrap cardstock though this would work really well. Actually, do I have any scrap green cardstock? Hold on, before I cut it, can you pass me my green box, please? So apparently I only ever use light colored green, so just have to use a little bit of this. So I'm just gonna cut out a little corner so I don't waste too much just run that through the die cut machine go and then we use the circle to kind of cover up where the two bits join together so we use liquid glue for this part I have a feeling that it'll stick just that little bit better Put that to dry for a sec I'm just really quickly going to do something very similar for the small one I'm just going to cut this one in half Use this as the belly band instead of having to cut another piece. So I'm just using my guillotine trimmer now so it's a bit easier. Um, but I will just mark this at the one centimetre mark because I don't have centimetres on here. As much as I can, I'd like this to be dead on. Yeah, not bad. Well done, me. So I'm just going to stick these together. just brought up a very good point you could use gold washi tape here if you didn't want to use the cardstock if you just wanted to be a bit make it a bit simpler for yourself 
I'm actually surprised at how well this glue tape's doing. I thought it would struggle a little bit to hold with the very, very small, like with the glitter. Sometimes glitter cardstock just doesn't quite adhere the way you want it to. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different because I've got the stuck down bits on both sides. So it really comes down to if you wanna decorate one side or the other. I did wanna put another reindeer on here, but I have a feeling now that it might be, they might, he might be a little bit too big. Mm. No, he'll work. So this one I'm just gonna stick on to the circle. I think the other one I won't have a circle and I'll just have him sitting on the band. Put that in. Probably would have been easy to stick that on before I put it on the belly band, but oh well. And I'm just gonna slide that over the top, okay? And we'll do the same thing with this one, except I'm just gonna put just one little bit of glue in the middle, put the little reindeer on. Definitely like the bigger one better, but that's okay. There we go. So there we have our two little pillow boxes. Now these pillow boxes are, are good for putting little things in, obviously. So if perhaps you were getting your, your mum some jewellery, they'd be really good for some earrings. But they're also really good for littlies if you want to put like a, have a little thing of lollies. Um, my only suggestion is if you're going to put chocolate, put these in the fridge because they will melt and then they can't get the chocolate out, which that just makes nobody happy when you can't have chocolate on Christmas Day. But there we go, there's my two little pillow boxes, which I think they look like Santa belts. I know they're not, but they look like Santa belts to me. Um, I like the big one better, but I think the little one looks really cute without the circle. I'm kind of getting annoyed that that keeps coming up, which I know you've seen me play with about five times now, so I'm just seeing if I can add a bit of glue. I'm just gonna add just a tinsy bit of liquid glue behind here. See if that holds it still a bit better. All right, I think that'll hold it a little bit better now. So there we have it, two ways to make some little pillow boxes. You obviously don't need to use these for Christmas. You could use them for any occasion when you're giving something small, um, but really easy to do. And like I said, if you, if you jump on the internet and Google pillow box templates, you should be able to find a template really easily if you don't have a paper lovers book to be able to copy. I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. You can follow me on all of my social medias as well for other bits and pieces that I do in my planner and making cards. So they're all listed down below and you can find me there. I hope you have an absolutely awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles.